Do you feel like you're a pretty good neighbor? Like, in because I feel like neighbors well, used to. Well, I feel I like mean, you're fun to watch. <laughs> but but I feel like when we were kids, good. neighbor, you knew all your neighbors. But like now, people don't really know all their neighbors. We so we we moved into our house during the pandemic, which I think we talked about because you saw my terrible yeah. garage. Uh, that was Condo. Marie Kondo. <laughs> but um, now that, that we've sort of gotten to know them, we actually also did this thing, speaking of loving plants, uh, we started 600 milkweed seeds because we be became obsessed with saving the monarch butterflies yeah. and helping them. And so then we had this great idea, like let's try to turn our neighborhood into like a monarch sanctuary. So we sowed all these milkweed seeds and then we like potted them for everybody and put them on our neighbor's door with like my husband likes to paint, so we did like a little butterfly. We're, we had a lot of free time on our hands. Um, <laughs> as I'm Y'all saying it, I'm like, well. Uh, and so now, but it's so cool when I'm slow jogging through the neighborhood. <laughs> Here's your pot. <laughs> yeah, but there's monarch butterflies everywhere. Like it really worked. And our neighbors loved wow. it. Like they genuinely, because at first I was like. I'm going to plant some. Yes. I, yeah. I should have brought you some. We still have some. I have butterflies all over my, my backyard. Probably because you have such good, you have flowers and stuff. We have flowers everywhere. Awesome. Yes, yes. But the milkweed, you'll get the caterpillars and the chrysalis, which like for kids to watch, you know, oh, the, they love. the butterflies grow yes. is the coolest thing. Yeah. What, yeah. My um, eldest is just learning that in school, like so with science fun. and stuff. Yeah. It's really yeah. cool. But every time you're here, we talk about your struggles with anxiety. A lot of people yeah. struggle with anxiety, especially over the last two years. <laughs> so how's that going? Um, great. No, no. It genuinely... <laughs> She's all like, great. Guys, I'm perfect now. Because <laughs> of my slow jog. I slow jog and everything's better. Uh, <laughs> no, it's actually going, I, I, I don't know if we've talked about it before. Before, but for years I've been doing this meditation practice called yoga nidra which oh. sounds intense like you're doing asana like yoga poses but you're actually not it's the most like beginner friendly meditation practice you literally like lay down in like a cozy zen like you put a pillow here a this pillow is under my your head, kind of yoga and you can fall you can fall asleep yeah. yeah oh it's the best and I like you get guided through breath and through some visualizations and everything and that has saved my life with anxiety I love it so much everything is about breathing about breathing yeah. and also, yeah, coming out of your head and into your body. Yeah. Um, I loved it so uh. much. I just got my teacher training so that on my what? podcast, I could lead people through yoga nidras. And my first one is up. And you'll love this because it's inspired by Dolly Parton's Light of the Clear Blue Morning. What? Because I got what? really creative with the I meditations. I'm really into, like, finding out how to, like, in, like infuse creativity and music into it. And yeah. so I love Dolly, as we all do. And yes. Who so doesn't? So I wrote one. And if you don't now. get out. <laughs> yeah, it's on. Yeah, if you don't, you're not allowed here ever again. <laughs> ever again. Um, that's amazing. Yeah. That you, you have all these fantastic things about you. I you're mean, I I guess I have free time. <laughs> I, I will say I'm on a sitcom schedule. I'm not on a oh. Kelly schedule, which yeah, is a much it's, 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 it's easier. Mine's yeah. gotten easier. Mine's gotten a little easier. But um, is it true that you've also found a way to combine two of your other passions? This I love: wine and true crime. Sure, sure have. With my friends Cassie and Mark, we wrote a screenplay that we just sold to Lions. Really? Congratulations. Yes. Thank you. Wow. It's about a it's about a, a group of baby boomers who love true crime and there is a murder that happens and they go on a mission to solve it. You have just described my friends. They are obsessed with crime, like shows, like everybody. everybody yeah. Who do you think? Did they're all like, did totally. you watch? Did you watch? I'm the I'm the one that you never don't like it? here's mm -hmm. the thing. I don't really want to be scared. I'm in for the wine. Okay. Yeah. We yes. could have our own true crime yeah. and wine club. <laughs> yes. You will scare the crap out of me and I will get drunk. It'll just go. <laughs> <laughs> and I will not want to live alone ever again. <laughs> Two drunk, scared girls. Two drunk, scared girls. That yeah, could be our thing. Our, yeah. That's our thing. That sounds elevated. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Two bougie, drunk, scared bougie, girls. Bougie, drunk. See? That's We've more. elevated it. Two hippie, cowgirl, bougie, drunk, scared girls. All the adjectives. <laughs>